They claim the soul Bible has outlived its day That there are some changes that need to be made Let no man deceive Take your Bibles or turn with me to Matthew 24 Truth is determined by the test of time Trust the old Bible Never mind those people who want to throw it out. Churches are drifting and falling away. We need the soul book more than ever today. But the pampered with the Bible and written it anew. Nothing is sacred. Welcome to Empty Cross Ministries Daily Devotional Time. I'm Brother David. The name of the program is King James Version Exposed. Because we use the King James Version, we look at the verses, bring them to life, and expose the meaning. I would encourage you to follow along and read along with the Empty Cross Ministries Daily Bible Reading Plan that can be found on Empty Cross Ministries. Facebook page, Empty Cross Ministries group Facebook page, my own personal Facebook page, as well as on our website, www.emptycrossministries.com. And I would encourage you to listen in on Wednesdays afternoon, going into evening time, for our Wednesday Bible study. With that said, today we're going to be looking at Romans chapter Three And I've entitled today's episode, Heaven or Hell, the Choice is Yours. Uh, excuse me, I need to get a drink here. <clears throat> one of the most important barriers keeping one from being saved from hell is revealed in these passages. This is Romans chapter 3. It is the one thing that can keep every single person that was ever born out of heaven. That one fatal flaw is sin. Romans chapter 3, verse 10, second part of it, reminds us that 
There is none righteous, no, not one. We are not as good as many think they are. Man may think he is currently good because he may have done some good deed recently. Because of selective memory, he may even forget most of his hideous history. God, however, sees through any facade and knows our hearts. He knows that we lose sight of what is demanded of us, and that naturally we want to please ourselves and not God. Look at Romans chapter 3 verse 11. To further expose man's depravity, Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, pointed out more of our wickedness, more of our wickednesses they include. We usually do not live the way we should. Look at Romans chapter 3 verse 12. We are not profitable for the glory of God. Once again, look at Romans chapter 3 verse 12. Our tongues deceive. Look at Romans chapter 3 verse 13. The same tongue backbites and hurts others with its words. Look at Romans chapter 3 verse 13 once again. The cowardly tongue. It would not say blasphemous words if God were face to face with them. Can curse God. Romans chapter 3 verse 14. Our tongues can unforgivingly blast someone else's character because we are bitter against them. Look at Romans chapter 3 verse 14. We can be vicious and may turn on our own kind and harm them. Look at Romans chapter 3, verse 15. Because of all our unrighteousness, we can be destructive. Look at Romans chapter 3, verse 16. We are miserable because of our sin. Look at Romans chapter 3, verse 16. Unless God does something, we will never have any peace. Look at Romans chapter 3, verse 17. There is no fear or respect of God naturally in man. Look at Romans chapter 3 verse 18. What a bluntly honest account of humanity. All the Sunday suits and forgetfulness cannot cover up what God knows is lurching in our hearts. He also remembers the sin we have committed. In all that God knows about us, the amazing thing is that he still loves us. He loved us enough to send his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross to pay for our wickedness. God offers all the way out of eternal destruction due to the commission of sin. When one believes Christ is payment for their sins and takes him as Savior, an incredible transformation of a wicked heart can occur. The Holy Spirit can do some house cleaning and help one control sinning. Psychologists, psychiatrists, pharmaceutics, and self-control can sometimes change the outside of man. However, when Jesus comes into a life, he can change a person from the inside out. Our hearts can be cleansed we can be new creatures in Christ. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 reads, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Our thought for today is this. Jesus knows all our faults and loves us still. Before we get to our scripture, there's a few words we need to understand exactly what they mean. That word asps, that an asp is a venomous snake that is smaller than an adder. Oracles, an oracle is a person that foretells the future. Interpretation of a scripture's meaning, that word propitiation means payment, atoning for sin. That word remission means a payment. That word sepulcher 
is a bearing chamber, often for the wealthy or important people. And that brings us up to our scripture for today, which is Romans chapter 3. Excuse me, I had to get a drink there. <clears throat> Romans chapter 3, beginning in verse 1. Once again, I am reading from the King James Version. What advantage then hath the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy saints, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. But if our unrighteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who taketh vengeance? I speak as a man, God forbid, for then how shall God judge the world? If the truth of God hath more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I also judged as a sinner, and not rather as we be slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say, let us do evil, that good may come, whose damnation is just. What then? Are we better than they? No, in no wise, for we have before proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way, they are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways, and the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law saith it saith to them who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be appropriation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of God, to declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just, and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith, without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also, seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law. This has been... Uh, Empty Cross Ministries, Daily Devotional Time. I'm Brother David. The name of the program is King James Version Exposed. Because we use the King James Version, and we bring the verses to life and expose the meaning. Once again, I would encourage you to follow along with our daily Bible reading plan. 
We are going through the book of Leviticus in the Old Testament right now and still in the Gospel of Matthew in the New Testament. Each day there's a reading from the Old Testament and the New Testament. And depending on how fast you read, it only takes maybe 10-15 minutes to complete the reading. I would also encourage you once again to join us for our Wednesday Bible study on Wednesday afternoons going into Wednesday evenings. We're going to close out here with a prayer and a song. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we know you are a true, holy, and just God. Your justice demands death for us all, eternal damnation in hell. Yet, it is through your love and your mercy that you found a way to redeem us through the sacrifice of your Son. For we all have sinned and fallen short of your glory, Lord. We thank you for your mercy and your love and your justice. Father, we lay petitions and praises before you now. Father, we ask that you be with those suffering from any kind of injury or illness, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual. Just put your healing touch upon them. Father, be with those who are facing the loss of a loved one. Just make your presence known to them in ways that only you can do, in ways that they can see, feel, hear, and understand, Lord. Father, we thank you for the mercies that you show us. We thank you for the beauty of your creation. Father, we even thank you for the inclement weather that most of this nation is facing right now. We thank you for the travel mercies that you show to those that are that have to be on the road, Father. And we ask that you continue to show those travel mercies to those that are on the road during these dangerous times to be traveling. Father, we thank you, most of all, for sending your Son, Jesus, to die on the cross, that his shed blood might hide our sins from your face. It's in his precious and holy name we pray these things. Amen. Folks, stay safe, be blessed, stay in the Word, write the Word upon your heart, and stay warm because the temperatures are still frigid all across the nation. We're going to close out here with the song now. Until next time.
Until I reach that golden strand Just beyond the river In the cross, in the cross Be my glory ever Till my raptured soul Yeah.